hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get better fps in rust to stop lag and also stutter now this video is very simple and straightforward so let's get into it so the first step is to make sure that your computer or laptop is running in high performance mode to make sure that is you're going to go down to your search bar and you're going to type in panel you're going to see control panel you're going to click on that and it's going to load up like this you're going to go down to where you see hardware and sound and then power options. Once you're here, you're going to make sure that you have high performance selected. If you don't see the option, go ahead and create a power plan. Name it what you want, like right here, and then go ahead and click high performance. Click next, 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 and you will be able to create that power plan. Once you have high performance selected, you're going to go ahead and go to your search, which is in the top right hand corner and type in advanced. If you look here under system, you're going to see view advanced assistant settings. You're going to click on it and this is going to pop up. You're going to go down to the performance part, go to settings, and then you're going to adjust for best performance. You're going to click on it. Everything's going to be checked off. You're going to check on the show thumbnail instead of icons and also smooth edges off screen fonts. You're going to click apply and then OK. So that is step one done. Now we're going to move on to step two. Step two is optimizing our GPU. I'm using AMD, so I'm going to be showing you guys the AMD settings. So you're going to right click on your desktop and go to your AMD software. Once you're in your AMD software, you're going to go under the tab that says gaming. You're going to go down to graphics. You're going to make sure that your settings are similar to mine. So you're going to go to performance and then you're going to turn on Radeon Anti-Lag, Radeon Enhanced Sync, and also anisotropic filtering. Set it to two. Then you're gonna go under display. Again, you're gonna make sure that you have the same settings. Oh, I have them. Then performance, tuning. Make sure that this is also the same thing. You're gonna make it be a default. Then you have this one enabled. Now that we have step two done, we're gonna move on to step three. And that is making sure that Rust runs in high performance mode. To do that, what you need to do is go down to your search and you're going to type in graphics. You're going to see graphics settings. You're going to click on it and this is going to open up. What you're going to do is go to browse. You're going to go to your local files and then you're going to go to Steam, Steam apps, commons, and then Rust. You're going to select the Rust EXE, add. Now that we've had it our Rust, if we scroll down, you're going to see the Rust logo, but the name is a little bit different. If we go ahead and click on it, you're going to see it says let Windows decide high performance. And then you can see that if we navigate to C, Steam, Steam apps, common, Rust, Rust EXE, this is the EXE that we just added. We're going to go to options and we're going to go down to high performance. So it always uses high performance. We don't want to let Windows decide when to use high performance. We're going to click save and then that's how you put rust to high performance mode the next thing that we need to do is disable full screen optimization for rust to do that what we need to do is locate the main game directory for rust so we're going to go to steam we're going to right click on rust we're going to go to manage and browse local files in this folder you're going to see that we can find rust exe you're going to right click on it go to properties you're going to go to compatibility then you're going to scroll down to the bottom you're going to see disable full screen optimization and you're also going to go to change high dpi settings and then you're going to override high dpi scaling behavior by clicking at the checkbox press ok apply ok now the final step that we're going to be doing before we go into the game is a setting launch options for rust so we're going to go back to steam we're going to right click on rust go to properties and then you're going to see launch options right here. I'm going to have the launch options in the description of the video. So you're going to edit it so that it matches your system. So you're going to copy the launch options from the description and you're going to paste it into here. You're going to see a line of code. Now, there are some things that you need to change before you actually start up the game. So one of the main things that you need to change is your max memory. I'm going to leave on screen right now, depending on the memory that you have, how much memory you should put in this area. For me, I have 32 gigs. So what I'm going to do is remove the 14,000 and I'm going to put it up to 30,000. For my CPU count, I don't have six cores. I have four and I don't have 12 thirds. I have eight. 
to find out how many cores that your pc have you're going to right click on the taskbar go to task manager then you're going to go over to the performance tab and you're going to see your cpu make sure you click on it and then if you look here you're going to see cores which is four for me and logical processor which is eight so if i go back to the launch options i'm going to remove the core count from six to four and the logical cores which is not 12 it is eight you guys should do the same for your pc to get the best out of the launch options you're then going to go ahead and press close and we're going to now launch rust once you're inside of rust you're going to go down to your graphical settings and you're going to set it exactly how i have it so you're going to go ahead and make sure that your setting is the same as mine this is going to give you the best quality and the best performance possible